Hey YouTubers, I'm Jacob and today I'm here with my cousin William who is a professional mechanic and he's going to help us diagnose some overheating issues with a 1970s Ford 400 V8. I've included the product links for the tools and parts that we're using today in the description below so make sure to click on those and check them out. Alright, let's get right into it. We're using a block tester to see if a cracked head gasket is causing our overheating. Oh yeah, it's a legit one, the block tester. It's the good one? Oh, it's brand new, yeah. <laughs> We have uh, two of these pumps and both of them have holes in them. So we have a block tester here, which tests for uh, combustion gases in the cooling system. So we're going to stick this where the radio cap goes, pump this after we put some fluid in it. And if it changes colors from blue to yellow or green, then we have hydrocarbons entering the cooling system. Which could mean a number of things, right? Uh, on this engine, it's probably just blown head gaskets, but on some engines it could be in other things, like an EGR cooler, it could be failing or something like that, so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Probably head gasket. Because it says here that this can also test for warped ceiling surfaces, cracked head or block, or stripped head bolts. But oh yeah, I mean it's... Kind of all of the above. Yeah, basically, yeah, actually I did read some of these blocks, depending on when and where they were manufactured, could have cracking issues, but um, we don't know exactly where or when it was made yet. We haven't looked up the... ID numbers on it. Yeah, we don't even know if it's the original engine, so. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you get the cap off and make sure the metal's all right. Yeah, that's about right, about normal, which is about half of this reservoir at the top. Yeah, oh yeah, that's perfect. You just don't want it all the way at the top. Make sure it sits in there nice. And usually we do this with the engine running, but with what you described to me, it sounds like we might not even need to do that. So I'm just going to try it. Because I was trying to burp the system, and we I noticed that the water pump wasn't running. Either that or the thermostat wasn't opened up. But I was getting white steam or smoke coming from the fluid reservoir and also from the back side of the motor. Well, if it was as bad as I thought it was going to be, it probably would have already changed colors. Really? Sucked in there, it's sealed. It's got a one way check valve in here at the filter. It's kind of like your old school like motorcycle or lawnmower filter in there. So I'm sucking air from the cooling system up. And you said that you don't want the actual coolant in there. Correct. Because, I mean, especially the green coolant, it, it just changes it instantly. It'll change it to a green color, and that's usually the color you don't want to see, you know? Yeah. But it'll be a false reading. Um, why don't we pull it out a little bit okay. and start it up and do this. It takes a while before that automatic choke kicks off. Oh, yeah. See, look. See, it's starting to get white smoke back there. Here's this laser. Yeah, I just want to see how hot it is. 141 on the head. Yeah, a more. I think it'd be oil, but it doesn't really smell like it. It's kind of hard to tell because the fan's all blown back. We later discovered this white smoke was caused by transmission fluid leaking out onto the headers and burning off. Okay. 190 to 195 
Yeah, 195. Okay. They drop way down. 160. Got 205 on the cylinder head. 202, 201. I mean, it's kind of where you want it, you know, right around 200. Yeah. We concluded that there was no cracked head gasket while using the block tester and that our overheating could be related to the old radiator, water pump, or timing chain. Thank you for watching my how-to video. The product links are listed in the description below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching.